What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy GS. Welcome back for another Madden 25 online ranked match. And today, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. And as you see from the title, he happens to be in the top 100. So, uh, I mean, obviously, I didn't know that going into the match. But um, we know the Eagles are a very good team. Offensively, you know, defensively, they suck. <laughs> well, when I use them, they suck. Any team I use defensively suck, but I hate not having a team with speed. And the Eagles are very, very slow on defense. And so are the Jaguars. They're slow on defense as well. So, you know, whenever you play with a slow defensive team, you got to be careful because the Eagles will torch you with Macklin, Jackson, and McCoy. So much speed on that offense. You know, so you got to be, care be careful right there. You see me with the two-man uh, contain. I thought that was easy pickings. He threw it right up over the middle. And, unfortunately, I kind of got boxed out NBA style. We both went up, and I was j I, I was just a little bit towards the outside, and I was not I was unable to get good position. So, uh, right here, you know, he rolls out with Michael Vick a lot, so I'm trying to mix in some contains and, you know, hopefully trying to keep him inside the pocket. Right there, don't test the user. He is so dis respectful somebody please give that gentleman a link to my channel let him know do not throw the ball my way what an absolute amazing interception just a really quick snag you know um we went ahead and manned up and i was manned up on mccoy and wow just what a, what a really quick snag so now we have the opportunity to go on ahead and hopefully be able to get on the board first and you know running is still an issue for me so you know you see me passing a lot more than you see me running but I'm having success doing it, so as long as I can continue to do that, and uh, we have Scott starting at QB, he has 82 speed, so hopefully we can mix in some QB wraps, a couple read options, and, you know, if things break down on the play, hopefully I can just take off and make something happen to extend the play. Right here, we go through the screen, and we end up scoring a touchdown, thankfully, because I would have definitely settled for the field goal, but uh, we, we end up scoring a touchdown on the screen, which was awesome, because we all know... I've been struggling since day one within the red zone. So being able to score that close to the end zone is it, troublesome for me. So being able to score is definitely satisfying. So uh, here we go back on defense again. You know, we know that they have a lot of speed everywhere. So we got to be careful. And, you know, we, we can't let that happen. <laughs> we can't miss tackles. We have to get these, da these guys down immediately. Because if these guys hit the edge, I, I don't have anybody that can catch up with these guys. So, you know... Number one objective when you're playing the Eagles, keep them in front of you. Right here, beautiful play. He extends the play with Michael Vick. You know, he rushes outside the pocket. And right before he passes the line, he finds somebody open. And as you see, he does this a lot, you know. Uh, and he's throwing dots, you know what I mean? His his accuracy is on point. He threw that uh, kind of across his body, even though he was on the si same side of the field. And he ends up throwing a strike for a touchdown. So, 7-7, seven seven, you know, I am up one possession. I do get ball at halftime. Right here, MJD is the outside. He's from third seven. And oh, look at him. Look at my MJD telling him to pick up that block. And MJD gets a great run. That right there has to be my best run so far this year as we lose a cornerback, of course, right? Uh, you know, uh, there hasn't been too many instances that I can think of where I actually get such a great run. So, that right there puts us in a territory where we struggle a lot, but, you know, uh, it puts us really close to the end zone. We end up breaking the tackle because he's so strong, though. He is so strong. Let me brush his teeth with bacon strips. He just got so much protein up inside his veins. So right now, whoa, look at the kicker. Look at the kicker with the tackle, though. So right now, like I said, we are up one possession. We do get ball at halftime. So uh, one more stop would be major. Let's see if we're able to do so. Do so. He's doing a good job of mixing up runs and passes. Right here on third one, he tried a, a QB uh, read option and we end up stopping that. So fourth down right here, we end up sending pressure, allowing him to not even get the throw off. So we force an incompletion and we get the ball in great territory, already in field goal range, already promising us, you know, a multiple possession lead bearing a turnover. So right here, we hit the outside with MJD and already two good runs. For MJD, that's more than I can think of it of any other game. So, you know, I've been in this territory a lot all game. You know, I've been near his end zone for the most part, which is great. Uh, right here on third and goal, let's see if we go ahead and get this in. We try a really quick uh, run to the outside with MJD. And we actually do get in the end zone. You know, not only am I running effectively, I'm actually scoring on the part of the field where I struggle a lot. So, right here, he runs to the right man. So, fumble. And look at the kicker coming up with the um, the fumble recovery. That kicker's putting in work. He's putting in work. And right now, since we get ball at halftime, 
we really have an opportunity to just blow this game away and really make it difficult for him to try and come back. So right here, we're standing inside the pocket, and as you saw, we just do a really quick angle pass to MJD scoring another touchdown. So we're up 28 to 7, and you have to feel confident about this type of lead, especially, well, I mean, let's be honest, let's be honest, the Jaguars are a mediocre team, and the Eagles are a very dominant offensive team, uh, right here, I, I might have gotten beat, but I knew it was holding, so we ended up just giving that up anyways, and uh, does get called back due to LaShawn McCoy, wanting to cheat, and he's holding on Jones, you can't do that, that's an infraction, that's against the rules, McCoy, you can't do that, so here we go, first and 20, he rolls out, which he's pretty much been doing all game, but this time, we actually get a hold of Vic, Forcing a sack. Second and 25. He's in the end zone. He goes over the middle. Great completion by him. You know, I, I can tell that, um, you know, he, he's good at uh, passing the ball. And what, what what's big? Man, that was a big stutter, right? What, 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 <laughs> what's big is that when you have this type of lead, it pretty much allows us to key in on the pass. Because as you see, he's pretty much going away from McCoy because he, he knows he needs to score. And he needs to score in bunches and he needs to score quickly. And he's just killing me when he extends the play. Whenever he hits the outside, that's what he's doing most of his damage. Being able to rush outside and being another cornerback. That's my second cornerback loss of the game, man. So he, he's really doing a great job of being able to extend the play. And that's giving me issues. You know, I have to keep Mike Vick inside the pocket. Because him rushing outside is it, just causing too much problem. So, you know, that's something I definitely have to make an adjustment in the second half. If, you know, if I want to be able to continue to win this game. So, uh, right here, we just try a couple runs, see if we get anything major. You know, we're fine with going into halftime with this lead. Uh, right here, we're looking and we just do a really quick throw right there. Nothing too major. So, this right here is pretty much the last play of the half. And, oh, look at my boy Scott hitting the outside with the 82 speed. He can't go. Oh, get out of bounds. Get your ass out of bounds. Get out, get out, get out. We will take our field goal that right there was a free three points which i didn't even expect and we will gladly take that that just adds to the lead and surprisingly he came out in a regular kick most people are desperate at that point and they go for the onside but thankfully uh you know he did it because i just always feel like the onsides are going to go against me so 31 to 14 right now and uh, we have scored every time we've had the ball and if you notice i'm doing a lot of my offense from under center snugs and i feel like this is what i'm gonna base my scheme out of you know i really don't gun as much as i did before on the current gen i my shotgun percentage is like 98 like everything was out of shotgun now most of my plays are under center uh, and uh under center snugs right here we beat him up top my boy cecil shorts and that is the one weakness of the eagles no speed they don't have nobody above 90 so i know i had a speed as a speed advantage with cecil shorts being my fastest receiver at a 94 speed and he was manually using the safety look at the kicker with the head stick though damn so um one thing that i noticed like i said he was manually using the safety so he came up way inside the box so i figured this would be easy streak and it was so right now we have a dominating 38 to 14 lead we are coming out on offense and we are just exploding and you know you gotta love when you can have that type of success you know what i mean so uh but more importantly right there another user interception and right here i believe uh, he ends up sending a concede which we end up accepting so after this game you know i look at where we stand in the leaderboards and also check my opponent's record and very very surprising you know we got 10 points and i was like wow that's a lot of points considering i'm already in the top 100 and i'm like damn where, where was he for me to get 10 whole points so i go on ahead and um I check out uh, Well I compare stats To check out You know his record And stuff like that 11 and 2 He was 11 and 1 When we played He is on a 2 game loser streak So he started out 11 and 0 As you see We are 11 and 0 And he was 11 and 1 So this right here Is by far The best opponent I've played You know record wise And we Dominated the game Both sides of the ball Even special teams Excuse me Special teams wise We came in with the big fumble Our kickers laying his sticks For covering fumbles and I was just baffled that I actually played somebody with that record and uh, came away successful. Because as we all know, I want to say where I stand on the, the Xbox One version of Madden, I'm about like a 41%. You know, on PS3, I was 100%. You know, I was as good as I was going to get. Now I feel like I'm at about like 41%. There's still a lot more I need to learn. There's still a lot more plays I need to go on ahead and add to my scheme. 
So I know I got a lot of growing to do. So to be able to beat somebody uh, with a lesser rated team and somebody who had a good record definitely made me feel like, okay, we're, we're making progress. We're definitely making progress. And I don't know where he was before we played, but after his loss, he was, uh, you see his, I'm just showing the team records. He played uh, most of his games with, uh, I, I, I might have missed it, but you guys saw it. <laughs> so he was, he's now ranked, I believe, 97th, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. And I am now, I don't, I don't know. And I just played this game. My memory, my memory isn't as good as it, as it used to be. Oh man, last week I was remembering everything. This week I can't remember much of anything. And this week just started. Man, that's not good. That, that means that's a, that's a long week ahead of us. <laughs> um, I did create my mud channel since you guys exploded the like bar. I'm going to go on ahead and let you guys know at 6 o'clock what my new mud channel is. Hopefully I have a video today. If I do, it's going to be up at 7. You know, so uh, hopefully I'll go on ahead and get that for you guys. You know, you guys did your part of the deal, so I'm going to do my part of the deal. A lot of you guys really want much, so, you know, I I'm going to deliver what the people ask for. Uh, we are 32nd, and I'm looking for his name, wondering, because, uh, you know, where he was at. Because I noticed his skill points was the amount of skill points that I had, you know, before I played that game. So I looked, and we ended up finding him towards the bottom, which is, wait for it, wait for it, bam, right there at 92. So uh, he was, before that game, he was probably even in the top you know 60 70 maybe even 50 i don't know but you know nonetheless we come away with the victory and a very dominating satisfying victory on both sides of the ball which is always a good thing so that's the end of the game guys hope you guys enjoyed as always you guys should already know your boy just loves each and every single one of you i appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view the content i'm out peace give it to me baby